Acting Sergeant Kyle Tobin, can you tell me, I guess, uh, what happened today? Uh, yeah, today at uh, approximately uh, 3 p.m., we received a uh, radio call for uh, disturbance in the King and Church Street area. A uh, bylaw officer was having uh, issues with an irate male. Uh, when we arrived on scene there, uh, we immediately got another call at the marina for a uh, male armed with a handgun uh, that matched the description of the initial call. Uh, upon arrival, we observed a male that matched the description carrying a uh, what appeared to be a handgun in a holster in his hand, uh, walking across the lawn of the marina. Uh, police uh, took him down at gunpoint and took him into custody, and uh, charges will be laid. Very, very dangerous situation. Although you know now that it wasn't a real gun, there was no way of knowing it was in a holster, but there's no way of knowing. And from what you described, the actions that he was doing, there would have been no way to know. Yeah, the uh, the handgun appeared very real. Uh, it was all metal construction. It had uh, cartridges in it that appeared to be uh, live rounds. Um, and, and aside from uh, examining it upon closer inspection, there was no way to determine that it, the, the firearm wasn't actually a fully functioning firearm. Fluorescent tip on the end, but again, that was in the holster. And again, there's no way that even if you, I would, I'm guessing, even if you saw the fluorescent tip, it would still cause great concern if a person, if an individual is holding this in a public area. Yeah, for sure, because uh, people can paint fi real firearms any color they want. They can put an orange tip on it to make it appear like a toy gun. Uh, but like I said, it was in the holster at the time, so we weren't able to see that, only the uh, the hand grip of the, the gun. And the prohibited knife, is that like... Yeah, it's a spring-assisted, spring-loaded uh, switchblade knife, which is uh, prohibited under the criminal code as a prohibited weapon. And people actually saw him down, like, sort of walking on the boardwalk or Esplanade with... Yeah, in that area, in the area of the marina, there was uh, several calls received for a person with a knife, person with a gun, that uh, matched the description of the uh, male we took into custody. Very dangerous situation for officers and obviously, well, it wouldn't have been, well, with the knife it would have been, obviously, because he had the knife on him when you found? Yeah, he had a knife on him. He had apparently ditched a knife uh, previously to that. So it, uh, like we don't know when we're taking him into custody how many more weapons he has on him, if any. So it can potentially be a very dangerous situation, not only for ourselves, but for the public as well. At the end of the day, it, uh, everything went well. Yeah. Yeah, no one was hurt, everyone's safe, and the uh, situation was resolved peacefully in the end. So, Facing numerous charges? Yes, there'll be uh, weapons dangerous, causing disturbance, uh, some firearms-related charges. Uh, we're still sorting that out now, but uh, he's going to be held for a uh, bail hearing.